there were four of these butterflies on this stack of concrete blocks. They're swallowtails, and I've forgotten uh, what variety. I think they might be the male. Um, uh, they're a male. Uh, it's too early in the morning. Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday and it's uh, like 82 degrees, sunny, slight breeze, a uh, few clouds here and there. Rain last night. Yep, it rained last night. Not, uh, not a big storm or anything, but enough to get everything wet again. So yeah, that happened. Uh, today, this morning, I've just been non-stop. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are a handful of gladiolas that I planted last year. And uh, this area, I'm out here along the lane. This area is about to get uh, weed eated or bushwhacked or whatever. And I've got some more of the gladiolas uh, that I planted last year. So I'm just, you know, just saving them like I do. Okay, my neighbor brush hogged this. Uh, just for me, just for us, so there'll be uh, good places to park during the day on Saturday. So during the day on Saturday, um, we can probably fit quite a few vehicles just right across the lane from me. And that happened yesterday. Um, that blue trash bin I'm borrowing from a neighbor for a while. And that trailer, <laughs> that very nice trailer I'm borrowing for a while. Albany Mountain Homestead, Albany Mountain Homestead, I'll put a link up there. Uh, stopped by yesterday and dropped that off so that we can use that to haul materials back uh, for the tiny cabin and that is just awesome and I should have filmed yesterday but I didn't. So um, they will hopefully be here on Saturday so I will uh, stick my camera in their face at some point. But thanks again to Albany Mountain Homestead. And I brought out my weed whacker, walk behind weed eater thingy, and it sat all winter long, and there's not much gas in it, and I couldn't get it started, so I'll probably have to go get a full tank of gas and have somebody look at it who knows what they're doing. <laughs> uh, but I also, uh, there was a bunch of stuff uh, around these, and I want to get these moved today. If I could get a, a helper or two over here, I can get uh, these moved out of the way. Grumpy, are you helping me out uh, fertilizing those sunflowers? Is that what you're up to? That is just huge. These blooms on this rose bush are so much bigger than they were last year. That is just, yeah, I'm going to have to build my raised beds around this rose bush and just leave it right where it is. I think that's a grand plan. And while I'm stopping to smell the roses, this one is blooming up a storm. Man, so much better than last year. And uh, this is, I'm right here, the corner of the lane in my driveway. And it did bloom last year, but not all that great. And uh, this is one area I'd like to get cleaned out. I want to save that rose bush too and leave it right where it is. And there's a forsythia in here, the yellow flowers in the spring. But the rest of these, uh, the rest of this jungle, I wouldn't mind covering in wood chips. And then I can put a... Uh, I can put daffodils and irises and, uh, and other stuff around here to go along with my beautiful roses. That one looks like it's more vining and probably needs support. So I will be open to ideas on uh, taking care of this rose bush.
Scotch Creek cabin. Working up a big old sweat today. It's in the 80s. And uh, more parking spots. Bob's already checking out the new digs over here. What's up, Bob? The shipping uh, thingies. <laughs> Those thingies. Uh, Drew helped me move them over here. Bob is modeling. Bob's modeling the new do. And that is where the chicken coop was. And so Drew helped me move that chicken coop uh, further back in this chicken run. And then also that chicken coop back there. Uh, we moved that one back. And then, say cheese, Bob. And then that far chicken coop, we moved that back to the back of it also. I'm going to rearrange this fencing at some point and uh, do some, uh, some chicken shuffling. And uh, so yeah, today was a good start. And that frees up some space in here. Uh, well, you can see where the, where the fence was. It starts to get green. So yeah, that'll open up uh, some more space in here. Just, uh, just in case we need it. I think that was a good plan, Bob. You were good at the supervising today. Yeah. And this area got weed eated. Drew brought his own weed eater even. And so a lot of that brush out in here so it'll be a little easier to get to the garbage. Some of those are thicker stems that I'll need my loppers for, but uh, yeah, he got a great start on this. And he weed eated with precision, I must add, around this uh, tree with that really brings out this lovely rose bush. Have I talked about this already? I don't know. Didn't bloom this much last year. So that's a project for Saturday if somebody wants to work on it, a, uh, some type of support system for this rose bush. I would like to leave it there. And then that's a forsythia. So uh, that might be another project if somebody wants to uh, uh, dip some, some branches down into a bucket and start some, some uh, you know, new forsythia bushes. Cuttings might work too, I have no idea. And then, uh, yeah, then he also weed eated all the way around, all the way down there. So uh, smaller cars, as long as it's not too money. There'll be uh, plenty of parking here. And then of course my neighbor earlier today brush hogged his side of the lane. So thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot was accomplished in one day. Aw, BB. And reconfiguring the fence, I also had to move the grounding rod. It's like a three foot long grounding rod that I had to bang into the into the ground up up and I need to put the need to put that tub over the grounding rod too see I'm glad I filmed this so yeah that was another another thing today it's about 6 30 and I am done 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 <laughs> a lot was accomplished today Cabin didn't get here, but a lot of other stuff. Uh, Drew and a helper came, Dutch Creek Cabin. Um, yeah, and gave me several hours of very hard labor. So it's just, um, which just reminds me of <laughs> how much faster other people can do stuff than I can and how helpful this weekend is going to be. I can just imagine what can get done with a group of people around here and holy cow that's uh that uh i'll never be able to show enough appreciation i'm sure there's gonna be well drew's telling me look i'll get all this stuff done today and then and he was right <laughs> there'll probably be a lot more done than i than i even imagined uh assuming the cabin is here uh i'll talk about that in a second uh, staying on the upbeat. Yeah, he, um, all the way down the lane. Yeah, I think I already showed, I don't even know. My brain is, a lot happened today. I think I got some video of it. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Gavin didn't come today. Uh, we'll reassess tomorrow morning, first thing, and see about tomorrow. And that's all I know about that. Well, that's not all I know about that, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm having issues, and so I, I just you know I I don't like the drama. <laughs> I do not like the drama, and and that's all this is right now. Is, is he gonna get the cabinet time? Is he gonna get the cabinet time? How dramatic is that? I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want any of that drama. <laughs> oh, that's just bad for me. It's it's gonna be bad for everybody if there's even more drama it's gonna be there's gonna be issues okay I should stop talking before my head explodes on live uh, or on camera <laughs> I'm not live uh, all right thanks for watching thanks for everybody's help thanks to Albany Mountain Homestead I'll put their link below they also brought me a couple Cherokee tan pumpkins so yeah I can uh, I got somewhere to grow them although those are I think those are ground. Yeah, those are ground. She said those those are ground. So well they can grow on the ground around that. That'll that'll works for me. Take her easy, everybody. Now you Bob. You don't have to take her easy. You're a cat. Your whole life is taking it easy now. Mm -hmm.